Well, the New Year's Honours List recognises achievements and service by extraordinary members of the British public and it appoints them to the Order of the British Empire. Now, this year's list features... Lewis Hamilton, Craig David. In fact, it is the most diverse list in history with 14.2% of people coming from a BAME background. But the list still remains controversial because of the inclusion of the word empire, which has connotational links to colonialization and slavery. I want to know, do you think if they take out the word empire that the awards would be less controversial and should black and marginalised communities refuse the honour because of its links to the past? Well, personally, I appreciate people who um, are open and honest about why they reject the award. But I'm also not here to turn, a, like, to turn my nose up at people who accept it. Um, I think obviously, you know, there's the issue with the word empire because of what it represents. Like the empire was built on colonialism and white supremacy. That is the price of the empire. And that's why people feel that they can't accept the award. But I'm not going to reserve my judgment for black and brown people. I think that everyone's comfortability with the terminology should be questioned. Like why, why would we put a microscope on black and brown people and not everyone who was offered the awards why are we not having a conversation with everyone about why why we're comfortable with the with the use of the term empire so you know there was a woman called Gina Martin who is a white woman and she was partly responsible for the criminalization of upskirting so she's a G but um, she said that she refused the award because she felt that it would have been deeply hypocritical of her to accept an award like that while still being committed to anti-racism. So yeah, I'm, I'm here for the word being changed. I mean, I saw something that said that people were proposing they change it to um, order of British excellence. I don't know why they didn't do that. I think because excellence is already in the title. Before you get to OB, it's something like the blah 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 of excellence to the, and so you couldn't put excellence twice in one sentence well let's I can't remember what the official then, sentence are you was. sure excellence is in there is it not the order of the you, british empire is that not no before what it is? before before you say the order of british empire when they give it to you they like the sentence that they decree you with starts with excellence in okay, it i can't that, remember the sentence off my head so then sorry because i was watching the interview and then the person was like can't we just change the excellence they were like no excellence is already in there and so it was like a bit of a thing i think that's an excuse because if you, if you have obe and mbe it's like order of british empire member of british empire that's what the award you're giving me stands for so actually you could change it to order of british excellence and then just say something else when you're complimenting me when you're handing it over like that's a cop out i think I, I neither agree nor disagree, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I, for me, if they take the word empire out, I don't know if it makes a massive difference for me because it's still it's still the same award, it's just got a different title. And I think a lot of the people that I heard, the reasons why they rejected it, obviously there was the word empire and the things that it is um, attached to and what all the connotations, but a lot of them were just saying how kind of how you said about how hypocritical it was and um i was listening to um phil scraton scraton i forget i forget his name um i don't know if you guys know him he does like social justice and does criminology and that kind of thing anyway he's a white guy but he basically said he refused his because the work that he does is uncovering the truth and he basically felt like the British Empire was riddled with a lot of untruths. So it would be hypocritical for him to take that and like a slap in the face about the work that he has. So I think for a lot of people, even if you change the word, it's still the same award and they still wouldn't want to receive it. But like yourself, Luanda, I don't criticise anybody who's black or brown and wants to receive that award because they may be receiving the award because they're maybe changing what the meaning is or they're proud of their hard work. Um, when I was reading about Miss Dynamite who accepted her award, she was saying that the reason why she accepted hers was she was recognising everything her ancestors done with uh, wind rush and slavery. And so that was why she accepted her award. And when I heard that, I went, you know, fair, fair enough. You have to do what, what feels right for you. And I think for black and brown people, you just have to decide whether it is hip hypocritical for you to take it or not and what it means to you. Yeah. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if it's actually the word 
empire that actually causes the problem. I think it's the point that we haven't reckoned with empire and what it did and that we're not willing to atone for it. We don't want to mention it. We don't want to say that we controlled the world and we did that through slavery. And that's the reason why people here, I think it's all these other things. Cause we're happy to talk about the Roman empire, the Ottoman empire. We'll talk about these things, but I think empire, British empire is so loaded because we still refuse to talk about how this country was built on the backs of the less fortunate wherever they were in the world because it covered the majority, the majority of the known world at the time. And I think I so much agree with Luanda when she was saying about why we're focusing on black and brown people because I didn't even think of that. I thought more so about a Guardian article and they were like, oh, we're really surprised that Lewis Hamilton is going to accept his knighthood um, because he stood for Black Lives Matters. And I'm like, why does critiquing the country you come from mean that you can't share in the achievements or you say like, I'm still proud to be British, but I just think there's some areas where they clearly need to fix themselves up. I just hate that it has to be in opposition to each other in terms of, well, if you're going to accept it, then you're fine with everything Britain did. And I just don't think it works like that. Yeah. Well, it doesn't for me anyway. Yeah. No, I think so as well. And also because in terms of, we, we've always spoken about all the time, you know, the systematic injustices for black and brown people. It's like, if you're being recognised with this award, who knows how hard you've had to work just to even be on a list like that. So I just feel like I'm not going to dictate to other people when they can or can't feel like they should accept something um, as an acknowledgement for the work that they've done. Like I said before, like I respect everyone who's um, given it back and said, I've given it back because A, B and C, but I'm also not going to judge people who feel like, actually, I want to accept it and I feel like I have a right to. Definitely. And just to pick on what Sophie said, I was actually watching like a, I guess it was like a mini debate on, it was on Good Morning Britain when they were talking about this. And this was actually, I believe it was either last year or a couple of years ago. So this isn't like a new thing about whether the word empire should be taken out. And obviously you've got Piers Morgan and um, a few other fancy favourites. And when they, it was, they had like a specialist in, and I can't remember his last name, but his name was Toby. And he was really trying to argue why, like all the great things that the British empire did. And he was, um, he was arguing this to like, these two black gentlemen and I think one was like an activist and one's like a hip-hop artist or something and then they were both saying basically the British Empire has done horrific things and then Toby was like oh what about all the good things the Empire did we gave you education and infrastructure and, <laughs> and one of the guys Kehinde was like yeah, you gave us infrastructure so you could take all the products that you were stealing from us out of the country. Like, stop telling it us as a favour and stop telling us it's a good thing and accept that you guys did wrong. And I think they were going back and forth. I actually had to stop watching it because it was just too much for me. Um, but there is this denial about what they did. And he basically, Toby then went to basically say that what they did, the British Empire did, wasn't as bad as what the Nazis did. And it was just like, there's no need for that comparison. But in fact, maybe it's hand on, it maybe it is hand on hand, but it's that people don't want to accept maybe what the Empire had done. And I think that is still running very rampant through current British society. And you I think know as well, something... like, I think as well, like the Empire is over. And I think that's the bit yes. that really I don't seem to get with why people or the government are so staunch about holding on to it. Like the empire doesn't exist. Like literally it's gone. But we still want to keep it in the name. And then when we talk, have discussions about should we get rid of it in the title because of the connotations, people are just like, no, 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 we're going to keep it. Because I think we like to still think that we're Great Britain, that we are the Britain of the British Empire. And we we don't. It's just it's just all these ties to this that we just don't want to let go of. And I think in the face of what's going on in the world with Brexit, of having left the EU, not really knowing what the hell that deal says, no matter how many times Boris wants to wave it in people's faces, we <laughs> are not the empire that we were. So holding on to the name to make people feel like they're part of something special, it's just, I just think it's so ludicrous. I mean, I was gonna say the same thing because Anissa, you just mentioned Kehinde and he was the one that reminded me, like he, he literally said Kehinde, Kehinde Andrews was like, it, why are we still talking about the empire when it doesn't exist anymore? So that kind of made me think, oh yeah, why? are we and so it's it feels as though if you know if everyone's saying we recognize all of these negative things that have happened to um marginalized people because of the empire like the only reason why the empire exists is because like sophie says it was built off the backs of the less fortunate who don't get to re 
the rewards, not even in the present day. It's like if everyone's saying this and not only black and brown people are denying the awards, but also white people who want to live in a progressive world, a, a progressive world. It's like, what exactly is it that you're clinging on to so hard that you just won't let go of? Because we're not saying don't recognize um, British excellence. We're not saying don't reward people for their hard work. We're just saying, why does it have to be attached to a legacy that is racist and colonialist? I think it's because it bought power and money. Like that's the reason why we still want to be linked to it because the empire was something impressive from that perspective um, in terms of how much of the, the world it covered, in terms of how much wealth it brought to a very small island, if we're being very honest. So I think that's what it is for them. Um, but Yeah, I was going to say that I think it's also like the whole like, it, I don't want to call it like a fantasy, but the way they've idealised it, it's kind of like when we're thinking empire, they're not even thinking about the you know, the horrific things that happen. happened. It's just a part of that thing of like, when people question, why do we still have a royal family? Why do we still have a monarchy? It's a part of being British for them. It's this idealistic version of Britain and we're called Great Britain and we still have a queen and the queen gives honours and they still knight people. It's literally tying, it's just holding on to that, the the ideal. And I guess if I was romanticising Britain and everything, of course I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. I'd love to get an award from the queen. And because you, you romanticise that version of Britain, but then when you get into the real world and understand what the British Empire did, that's where it becomes more complicated but I think for a lot of people they're holding on to it because they're still they still are romanticizing that version of Britain for them I just wonder if everyone really links it to that idea of empire when they get the award because when I first was thinking about this I was just like I'd accept the award because as the Wanda said it's a recognition in an achievement of something great that I have done as a member as a British public member or whatever member of the British public that's what I mean <laughs> and I would be like I'll be proud to accept it and I'm like would I automatically link it to empire and slavery and colon colonialization I probably wouldn't but I don't know I think it really depends on the person because there's Benjamin Zephaniah the poet who turned it down and he was very forceful in the reasons why he turned it down like you know he was like it reminds me of my ancestors who were taken of the mothers who were raped and and all of this so for some people it does stir up very very strong feelings but it really depends on I guess where you stand and I think we've all said this like it has to come down to a personal decision but I think the government is not going to be long in trying to avoid this question it's going to keep coming up again and again and again and again and they're going to have to come up with better answers than they have already does the queen have another award that she gives out that just doesn't have this the empire stink to it end? like <laughs> like does, yeah it doesn't have this empire stink to it does she have like my top 20 favourite people of the year or something. Because honestly, I think, uh, no, I'll be honest, I think a lot of people also like just say that they've, you know, they've been recognised by the Queen. But sometimes they probably don't even care about the actual award itself. It's just that well, they've been recognised by the Queen. Because, because Queen. like, there was someone who was trying to give their award back and they said, I don't even know who to send this to. They don't actually know where this comes from. And this is, yeah, oh. and this is not specifically I thought they had a either. ceremony. I thought they had a ceremony. I'm thinking of like knighthood. Maybe that's because this is no, just a New going. Year's honours list and it does, it's not necessarily saying like, you know how every year Obama's like my favourite songs and my favourite films oh, yes. on this <laughs> year? It's not the same as the Queen being like, yeah, I watched Lewis no, Hamilton no, race. The, it's like... The Queen, the Queen actually gives them out. So it usually... Yeah, so I thought she the gives royal, them out. Yeah, it's the member no, of the royal family saying, who gives it out. But who shakes the hand? But yes, who makes so it will be the, the Queen. So no, who the... shakes the hand, Sophie, but I'm saying who made the list oh so you don't believe the queen made the actual list i don't think they've ever even said that she has i don't know <laughs> yeah, but i'm just asking do you know what? I, just I just haven't said this comes directly from her majesty the queen this is just an honor from the british empire and like you might have princess anne or queen elizabeth okay, or someone yeah, okay. shaking the hand to say well done but i've seen queen elizabeth shake miley cyrus's hand it is actually the queen's <laughs> honours list so whether the queen does it specifically herself or not I know the government does have a hand in it but the queen gives out honours twice a year she gives it out at the beginning of the year and she also gives it out um, on her birthday and the 
the past behind it as well is that the queen used to give out titles. So it's come down from that. So before, for people who had done great things in the country, they would give out a title or a dukedom or a piece of land, money. Or a but lord or lady. they don't do that anymore. Yeah, exactly. They would give oh, those I'd out. Oh, I'd love to be a lady. Harry. That sort of thing isn't given out anymore. They've replaced it with the queen giving out the awards and honours. The government does have a part in it. And I think that's why some people are now saying that they feel like it's been diminished because the government seems to give it out for public favours. But it is the queen that has a part in it because it is specifically the queen's honours list that she releases every every new year oh i was just gonna say um to bring it back to the first point i'm just saying instead of having like maybe these awards that have the empire stink on it maybe this should just be a different type of award maybe not so focused on the british empire but kind of like maybe who the, who the queen likes i'm not gonna lie if the queen gave me an award and made me a lady and gave me some land i'm gonna take it do i want one of the be's i'm not sure i don't think so it doesn't come with the land and a title but hell yeah would i take the lady in the title i'm telling you that for free <laughs> <laughs> But that's the thing that I'm saying. Like, I think most people, if you ask them, probably link it to the Queen because, you know, it's when you see like David exactly. Beckham going and he's in his morning suit and all the people are dressed up to go and receive it. I think that's more what people linked it to than specifically mm. because how many people even know what OBE art stands for if you went and stopped them in the in the street? Like, I would right, guess none. If you most people don't award, even I'm sure, know. I'm sure they'll know if they're being offered it. Sorry, say like, that again? You said the average person, yeah, but if you're specifically being offered the award, like you'll know what it means because they'll tell you. I mean the person, but I'm saying in terms of the debate that society's having about this and whether the name should be stripped from it, for the elite list of people who get it every year, yes, they'll know, but the majority of the public, which is millions more, they wouldn't even know. So that's why I'm saying, I think, yeah, I think mm, it's, it's a complicated to the queen. issue. Yeah, I think people think of it more as an honour from the Queen rather than mm. linking it to the name. That's what I, in my personal opinion. Same. I really want, I really want the land now. Honestly, it's what I can't stop thinking <laughs> about. It's crazy. <laughs> I really want to be called Lady Lisa. You have no idea. <laughs>